Hey guys, welcome back to another Lady Friend tutorial video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Twitch extension uh, with Stream Elements, the leaderboard panel. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. <music> Like I said, we're looking at another Twitch extension, so we're going to be on the Twitch page, and we need to go to our creator dashboard and drop down to extensions. Um, you can actually just search this by typing stream elements, and we're going to be working with the leaderboard here. So you'll go ahead and hit install if you have not already. I've obviously installed it for this video. I'm going to go to my extensions, and we're going to configure this. So we need the stream elements leaderboard right here, and we're going to click the gear to configure pretty easy one to configure. The first thing is you want um, the displayed panel, so what you want them to display for the leaderboard. It can either, so the leaderboard basically displays who has the most of what. Um, so I can display my channel points, which it already pulls the name of your channel points right here. So mine are bells from Animal Crossing. You can have bits with cheer, subs, you can have chat stats, uh, store items if you have a store and stream elements, countdown, and location, stuff like that. Um, then you also need to choose a default, so what it's going to be on when somebody first looks at it without switching tabs. I'm going to click on subs, so that way the first thing they see are subs. You also need to choose default period. Um, so there's session, week, month, all time for some of these other ones. Subs, you have top subs or top gifters. Um, things to keep in mind, top chatters, top emotes, store items are a little different. There's no default uh, for that. Anyways. So depending on your default panel, it will determine the default period you need to set. There's a couple options. Um, you also have filter username. So if there's certain usernames you don't want to appear in the points leaderboard, like maybe your chat bot, um, the cheer, the subscriber, or chat stats, you can go ahead and filter them out by typing them here and hitting enter. And then you also can have it show your stream schedule with your upcoming stream. So say I stream on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. You will check off the boxes you stream. And then I can go ahead and set the time. My time zone is already set. You can go ahead and actually set that too if you need to from here. So I have America, Chicago, because I'm in the Chicagoland area. And then you would hit save. And that is actually all it takes to set this up in the configure section. After that, you're going to want to activate this. It's only a panel. There's no component option. So you have to choose from the three panel options that you have, one, two, or three, to set this up. And then you are good to go. It should be displaying your leaderboard for whichever ones you have selected. Um, if you're utilizing stream elements for your um, multi-tool on Twitch, that is. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and being here. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comments below, or you can pop into my Twitch stream or my Discord to ask directly. The links for those are in the description below. And remember to sub for more. As always, guys, happy streaming.